Egg decorating is a craft practiced around the world for centuries. The ancient Persians painted eggs for Noruz, their New Year celebration, a tradition that continues today. Probably the most famous are the exquisitely decorated Fabergé eggs, except they aren't eggs at all. They're made from precious metals and gemstones. Each one of these decorative eggs is a unique piece. The artist paints them, collages images and fabric, and creates jewelry and music boxes, or hangs them as ornaments. She always works with real eggs, from birds like the rhea, the emu, geese, or turkeys. Here she selects an ostrich egg and gently clamps it in place on an egg marker stand. On the underside of the stand are a series of guidelines to help divide the egg into two or more equal parts. Working with a pencil held in a brace, she divides the egg into four equal parts. Then she draws a horizontal line across the egg where she'll cut it in half to create a lid. She'll use a hinge to hold the lid in place. So first, she draws the contour. Then a loose wavy line all along the egg's circumference using the pencil guidelines as reference. A rotating cutter equipped with a diamond dusted blade makes a cut where the hinge will be. The artist now prepares some 5-minute epoxy glue. She has a neat trick to apply just the right amount. She works with a strand of uncooked spaghetti, then sets the hinge in place. Once the hinge is set, she cuts all around the egg, then opens and closes it to make sure that hinge works properly. It's the first time she sees the egg's interior. If it needs cleaning, now's the time. Though this artist often chooses to leave ostrich eggs their natural color, here she's decided to give the lid a thin coat of acrylic paint. For the lower half, she chooses a darker tone. Acrylic paint allows her to work quickly as it dries in just a few seconds. Next, she uses a special glue to collage strips of Japanese rice paper onto the egg. She layers small pieces to achieve a tortoise shell finish. She's ready to set the egg on its stand, so she coats the rim with epoxy, then sets the egg down, making sure the hinge is level with the stand's rim. The artist now turns her attention to the egg's interior. She lightly glues perfumed cotton balls to fill out the top and bottom parts. Then she applies glue along the inner rims and clips on a piece of ivory satin. By the time she makes it around both halves, she can remove the clips. The fabric now holds firmly in place. Next, she glues a fabric braid to trim the satin's edge. Here the artist lays down a delicate strand of rhinestones. She applies more glue to add another braid along the lower rim. Then places a final strand to complete the effect. She sets in a tiny rhinestone to decorate the metallic filigree that hides the hinges. Even the egg's underside gets special attention. She glues another filigree to cover the hole through which they empty the egg, then applies a water-based varnish. This strengthens the egg and gives it a glossy finish. Here's the finished piece, a delicate jewelry box that opens with the help of a fine chain to reveal its satin interior. There's no end to the creativity that goes into making these decorative eggs. This model even has a music box built in. <laughs>